Hey everyone, Lucktoss here. Well, hopefully by now you've received your Ash Prime Twitch drop from DE and got to give props to the team from DE with how they dealt with over 500,000 people tuning into their live stream, which I reckon would have melted most company's systems. So to work out a fair and great way of getting Ash Prime out to everyone, even after the huge viewer influx, awesome stuff, DE. All right, so an inbox message let you know that Ash Prime is now part of your inventory. The great thing is that if you didn't have a free Warframe slot for him, because he was provided by DE, Ash Prime came with his own Warframe slot. Ash is a sneaky Warframe with a mix of stealth and brute power takedowns. Ash reminds me of a Super Edgelord, maybe even related to Reaper from Overwatch possibly. I love his design compared to the standard Ash frame and it's interesting that the ponytail he has at the back was actually intended for base Ash but DE didn't have the physics tech at the time when Base Ash was released. His aesthetic is really dark and edgy, and his helmet is definitely impressive. Okay, so we've had a look at Ash Prime's look, now let's take a look at his abilities. First, Ash's passive improves bleed effects, bleed effects being slash damage, so any slash damage inflicted by either Ash's weapons or abilities will deal 25% more damage and last 50% longer. Even better is the bleed effect bypasses shields and makes for a bad day for enemies especially which have flesh or clone flesh as a health type and nearly all infested enemies. Ash's first ability, Shuriken, is actually a really good ability which deals slash damage with 100% status chance. When combined with the Warframe Augment mod Seeking Shuriken, the Shurikens will reduce the armor on hit targets by 70% for 8 seconds. It's great watching enemy Nox's armor being shredded to health like nothing else. If you're building Ash, I definitely recommend you pick up the Seeking Shuriken mod from either Arbiters of Hexes or the Red Veil. Ash's second ability is Smoke Screen, which gives Ash the ability to go invisible and staggers enemies within range. Smokescreen works really, really well in combo with his fourth ability, Bladestorm. Ash's third ability is Teleport. I would say this ability is situational at best, and if used without assessing where you're teleporting to, could put you in a world of hurt, especially if there are multiple enemy types together that could shut you down, like the Corrupted Nully and an Ancient Corrupted Guardian, for example. Ash's fourth ability is Bladestorm. This is a super powerful ability and pretty much allows Ash to mark enemies up to three marks per enemy, and he can send in clones to take down all of the marked targets. Ash can join in if he wants to as well. He doesn't just have to sit by and watch. Ash can completely clear the battlefield with Bladestorm as long as the enemies are within his range. To mark the target, you activate Bladestorm and move your cursor over the target, and you'll notice a little mark appears above the target's head. Move your cursor away and back over the target, and you'll apply a second mark. Do the same again, and that target's got three marks on it. Hit Bladestorm again and watch Ash's clones go to town and take down the enemy target in no time. Bladestorm uses energy when you mark each target and if you use smoke screen prior to marking, your energy costs are reduced by half. Hence why the smoke screen followed by Bladestorm combo is a fantastic combo to use. With the targeting of Bladestorm, just activate it, wiggle your cursor all over the screen and get a ton of enemies tagged and then launch Bladestorm. Kind of works for me. Now, there's more aspects to Bladestorm and how it works, but one thing to keep in mind is that Ash Prime and Limbo Prime work really well together. Ash Prime using Bladestorm can target any enemy which has been banished by Limbo, and it doesn't matter which rift plane the enemy is on. So another great frame to team up with Limbo. Okay, so let's have a look at builds. I've got two that I'm gonna show, the standard one I use and one I put together which doesn't include any prime mods and should, with a bit of work, be attainable by players who are making their way into the mid-star chart planets. You'll notice straight away that I haven't got any mods in the Exilus slot for this build. I haven't done too much work with Ash Prime and I'll probably need to invest maybe one or two formers into him still. Stats wise though, he's still pretty strong. Make sure you've got Steel Charge or a mod installed. Gives that bonus with uh, additional capacity allowance. One thing to note with both builds is that power strength is over 143%. I mention this because you need over 143% power strength when using the Shuriken and Seeking Shuriken combo to completely remove the armor from a target. On the non-prime loadout, Ash loses only 10% power strength but is still over 143% overall, which is tops. And the mods fitted should be available to you by the time you've reached mid-level star chart. Hunter Adrenaline is a great mod and is a bit of a safety net, so if teleportation does go wrong, 
Hunter Adrenaline can be obtained from the Plains of Eidolon. Okay, so we've gone through abilities and possible loadout. Let's now have a look through actual gameplay of Ash in action. Now I'm going to be quiet during this capture mission and let you see Ash's different abilities in action. I'm going to be running the Prime Mob setup with the Seeking Shuriken Augment and focusing on using Dread, which is a slash focus bow. And here's my Dread build, including its current ribbon for your info. Also remember that with Ash Prime being a Prime frame, he can get energy from the Oricon Death Balls, which each will send out a one-time pulse of 250 energy. I'm going to stop near one of them during the footage to show you the Death Ball in action. So here we go. You are here on a capture mission. You must find, capture, and extract our... Target located. Bring them in. The capture target has vital information that we will need to extract. We need our subject not back alive. Excellent work. We'll interrogate the captive back at base. Your part is down here, Tenno. Alright, so hopefully you've seen how Ash Prime operates and I've given you some ideas for how you want to build Ash Prime for you. Let me know how you've gone in the comments section below on t or on Twitter at LuckTorse. Remember guys, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great one and remember, we all lift together. Cheers.